guys, it's Sandy Missouri from Balloon Utopia and Market with Balloons, and we have a real treat for you today. My friend Katie Byrne from Beltway Balloons in DC has come out here to show you guys some amazing things. So we are, we are so lucky because she is the best there is in DC. She's also the editor of my last couple books. So if you like the book, you can thank her, and if you didn't, well, you can thank her. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, you can blame me. Anyways, without further ado, Katie is going to show us something awesome. Hey guys, Katie Byrne here from Beltway Balloons in Washington, D.C. Sandy asked me to stop by and give you a quick tutorial on how to do a monster headband. <clears throat> My eyes are up here. We're going to start with this super easy six petal flower. Sandy has a tutorial on how to do a six petal flower, so you can search her channel for that. Basically, we're going to do six little loop twists about this size, maybe two and a half fingers. Uh, I use six because I think it's the most stable. I don't think that you need seven, and I don't think that five is quite enough. If you use six and something pops, you still have five, so you're able to uh, still use it. It'll still be a, a good headband for you. Or a wristband. Just making the same size loops over and over again six times. You just sort of fold it into the middle. Just like that. And then we're going to get rid of the rest. Like that. Twist it around a few times so that you don't lose air. But you really don't need to tie it. really hard on editing it, so you should probably go to Amazon and buy it. Sandy has several books. The last two were the best because they were edited by a really good editor. All right, so here's our six petal flower, which is gonna be our base for the headband or the wristband. Now we're gonna make the eyeballs. I'm gonna show you two different ways you can do this. The first way is to make two equal size bubbles, wrap them into themselves, and go ahead and tuck the nozzle through so it doesn't come undone. And then you can just pinch them together and make two pinch twists like that. Then we're going to go down about, I don't know, maybe two inches and we're going to do a shock twist. People call this different things. I call it a shock twist. And basically what we're going to do is shock the latex into bending. So we're going to fold it over and then you're just going to pull it hard. There we go. And then it sort of makes almost a 90 degree angle, which is perfect for the eyeballs. Then we'll go down about, I don't know, that far. It really doesn't matter. It's whatever you like. We're going to wrap it in to the middle of the six petal flower. And then back up again. And then we're going to do the same thing. You're going to measure the same distance, bend it again, shock twist again. And this time, instead of doing two bubbles, we're just going to do two pinch twists. And there's no reason for that other than to show you the difference. You can do whatever is most comfortable for you. Get rid of the rest. Tie it off. I came up with this design because I was twisting in LA with Sandy, and this really adorable little girl said she wanted a monster on a headband. So this is what I came up with. Now this guy got a little wonky, so we're just going to go ahead and shock twist him again. You can also kind of squeeze the latex a little bit. All right. So you can already see he's kind of starting to come together. So now we're going to do the eyes. And we want it to be roughly the same size. And if the print is too small, you can sort of squeeze the balloon in the back. It took me two years to learn to blow two balloons up at once. Alright. Then we're going to take our eyeball and we're going to wrap it into the pinch twist. Just a couple of times. We're going to get our pinch twist sideways. Like this. Because I think it holds the eyeball better and makes it point down a little bit for when it's sitting on the head. You can also 
wrap the five inch back around to the front and that helps make it really secure and really strong. He's looking up like he has a concussion. He's got one eye going one way. All right, now we're gonna give him his little tongue over the side. And really, you can make it whatever size you want. It's a monster, there's no right answer. We're just gonna tie a 160 together. Woo, cut it. And then I find it easiest to just wrap it right around the bottom. Underneath the eyes. And then sort of over to the side. I think it looks better over to the side rather than just straight in front. It looks like he's throwing up if you do it right in front. So then we need to bend the latex again. And then just, you just sort of squeak it back and forth. And then that gives it a nice tongue kind of shape. To attach it to the headband, I put my thumb on top of it when you're using these little quarter inch headbands because uh, it gives it enough room so it doesn't get squished up into the, the six petal flower. And then you just wrap it around. And sometimes I'll hand it to the kids and tell them that it comes with my thumb and you know they think it's funny. And that's it, you've got yourself a really cute monster on a headband. You could also do it on a wristband, no big deal. If you like this video, please comment, please like, please subscribe, and let Sandy know what you'd like to see in the future. Maybe she'll bring me back out here to LA and I can do some more videos for you.